If you've missed any of the earlier episodes of the Great Tastes series and want to see the shows and get all the recipes, go to greattastesmb.ca. Watch them when you want to watch them. Manitoba beef producers tonight on Great Tastes of Manitoba, Adriana Finley, uh, eat like an athlete tonight and we have come to our final recipe, Mexicali ground beef. Basically, we put everything in a pot and we're done. Good night. No, <laughs> uh, but it really, I mean, it's really not it's any a, much more complicated than nice, that, right? It's a nice, simple recipe. Absolutely. It really is. Um, really good for um, families on the go or if you're wanting to prep a meal before you head out um, yeah. for a workout, it's good to go. So we're working with already pre-cooked ground beef. So this is um, found on greattastesofmanitoba.ca. Um, mm -hmm. um, you'll see the recipe. It's basically, we just have some seasoned ground beef that we've cooked in a batch form. Um, and we're going to add just two cups into our pot and get started with our chili recipe. If you go to greattastesmb.ca, actually one of the things we tried to focus on this season is, is uh, you know, making it, making things ahead of time because we are busy, we have very active lives, we're taking kids here, there, work, this, that, and the next thing, school. And so it's uh, it's great to kind of cut down on that prep time so if you can get it done ahead of time, make sure you visit the website to check out the recipes. Okay, so two cups, we're going to fire that in there. Yes, so um, this is just one little portion, so you, what you would do once you're cooked, uh, once everything's cooked, you lay it on a sheet pan and freeze it and then um, that can go two cups into our our pot here okay. and then the rest you can just put into freezer bags and it can be the next topping on say nachos awesome. or another recipe you have in mind easy peasy okay yeah. So we what can, can I do? Ahead. Well, you um, wanted me to do this, right? Sure, if you okay. want to. Yeah. We'll do two cups of the um, ground beef. So I'm using an extra lean ground beef. Um, it has all the same um, nutritional components as any other um, cut of meat. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll see there lots of protein. Um, it's also lean, so there's only t a maximum of 10% um, fat in total yeah. um, from the product. So you're looking at a really lean and nutritious um, recipe. Perfect. So into that, we're going to add our tomatoes. So I have here just some diced tomatoes. So I'm just going to add that to our pot and a little splash but that's chili Gotta get the <laughs> no doubt and the, speaking of protein like this now we've got our, our beans coming yeah, in here and it's just kidney beans just I also have some black beans so that's kind of on the Mexicali yeah. um, kind of flair to it the name right yes and then I have some tomato paste because I find it just like helps to get all the flavors rounded out. Really nice intensifies. Like I find when I use tomato flavor. paste, like yeah, it just yeah. really accelerates that tomato. Really good. Um, and then we just have some corn. Gotta and have that Mexicali, right? That's right. And some really great um, green pepper. And this gives fantastic um, color to the you know to the chili are you going to S&P this the salt and pepper um, we have actually on a plate there we okay. have our spices I'm just gonna so mix I'll, for you, but why don't you I'll do give that? this a quick little um, stir and if you want to add our spices okay um, we have there some chili powder we have some cumin and we have some um, red pepper flakes and the red pepper flakes are optional it's just some added heat um, there's also some sea salt on there um, <clears throat> And so basically all we do here is put a lid on this and uh, we're just going to simmer it over low heat until it's heated through. Um, again, the beef has been fully cooked ahead mm -hmm. of time so there's no need um, to fuss about that. We just want to cook our veggies and get things kind of nicely married in the pot. You could almost, I'm wondering about, cro like you could maybe even crock pot this recipe if you Absol wanted to, yes. right? This yeah. is an easy um, slow cooker recipe. Um, what you would do is just you know, put it on low and let it's, her go. Set, yeah, set for the day. You can come home to a really great um, chili. Oh, and it, I, well, it already smells fantastic. So um, that would be like quite the treat walking in the door and smelling Absolutely, that. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, so healthy eating, eat like an athlete here with Manitoba beef producers. Now we got to find out did Erin create healthy drinking? We will find out <laughs> when we come back here on Great Taste of Manitoba. You're watching Great Tastes of Manitoba, brought to you in part by Manitoba Liquor Mart. Enjoy responsibly.